here and today we have another email workout. So that stands for every minute on the minute. We're going to have five exercises today. At the start of each minute, we'll do one of the exercises for a certain amount of reps. Now, when you finish those reps, whatever time you have left in that minute is rest, or you can do active rest to meet with me if I decide to do it, crazy. And then at the start of the next minute is when we'll do the next exercise. So it's going to start out pretty nice and easy, nice and easy going. And then as we go on, it's going to get a lot more challenging. So by rounds four and five, we might be dead. But who knows? Hopefully not. All right. We are going to get warmed up. We're going to go through the exercises then. So we're ready for the workout. And yeah, then we'll get started. Okay, let's do this. All right, guys, basic warm up to start it out. We got butt kickers. So we want to think about squeezing that core, driving the knees in front slightly, and then kicking that booty. Getting that heart rate up so it's not too much of a shock when we get into that workout. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. And from here, go ahead. We got some hip rotations. So we're going to alternate legs. You might feel a few crinkle crackles in those hips. Getting them nice and ready for the chaos to come. Squeeze that core. Keep going, guys. We got three, two, one. Well, one more on the other side to be even. And feet out wide, sink down side to side. So a little bit of active mobility stretching for those hips, for those inner thighs. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Nice job, jumping jacks. Really jump those feet out and touch those hands to the top. Keep going. Nice, strong core. It's going to be so fun today. We're going to have five rounds of each exercise. <laughs> so get ready. Four, three, two, one. Walk down into plank position. All right, from here, we're going to bring that right foot to the outside, open up that chest, bring it back, and switch. So again, we're getting those hips nice and open, getting that chest open, getting those shoulders core, legs warmed up. Let's go a few more. One more on each side. Last one. And go ahead, bring it back into plank. Press into down dog, bicycle out those feet. So we're getting those calves warmed up. Getting those shoulders warmed up. We got four, three, two, and one. And go ahead, cycle through down dog into plank. Keep going. Keep that core strong. Make sure that you're not dipping that lower back. Let's go a few more. Last two. Last one. And go ahead, jump or step up to those hands. And we're going to slowly roll it up. Roll the shoulders. And let's go with some high knees. High knees, high knees. Now, if you guys have a jump rope, you can use it today. Push that in. Four, three, two, one. All right, back lunges. Alternate legs. Keep that chest up. Gonna get into going through the exercises soon. And I want you to do them with me. So that way you get the form down and you get that muscle memory. Alrighty. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, shake it out. We got skaters side to side. Try to stabilize on that foot, but if you need to, you can always tap it and walk it. Woo. Getting that booty, getting that core, getting that cardio. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go for four, three, two, one. Let's finish it out. Big inhale up. Exhale. 
exhale, swoop down. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, swoop down. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, down. Two more. Half sun salutations here. Exhale, down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Get some nice shoulder mobility in there. And up. Go ahead, shake it out. And let's go through the exercises. All right, guys. So first exercise is going to be 15 push presses. So again, try to do this with me right now. What we're going to do is you're going to sink down, elbows in, sink down, press up. And notice how my heels come off the ground. I'm not hyperextending the spine. So it's not just a press, but you're using your legs and momentum to push it up just a little bit more. So you'll probably be able to go a little bit heavier than you normally do for regular presses. After that, we have 12 dumbbell burpees. So there's no jump at the top, but sink down, flat back as you can. Bring those dumbbells in front, jump back, keeping the core strong. Bring it up, sink down, back, up, keep the core strong. Back as flat again as you can. Uh, next one, 20 dumbbell swings. If you have a kettlebell, go for it. I just want to make this a little bit more available to more people. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna bring it back, nice flat back, squeeze that butt, sink back. Neck is neutral, it's not craned up, it's not looking all the way towards your tummy. Inhale down, exhale up, squeezing the butt, squeezing the core. After that, we have 20 renegade rows. So, working that back. Ooh, go heavy if you can. Coming into plank position. Notice how my wrists aren't like this. They're nice and straight, so that way we're not hurting them, okay? You're gonna row it back towards the hips. Squeeze that core, and try not to move your hips as much as possible. Really, really squeeze those lats. Bring it back towards the hips not flared out, so keep it in chafing danger zone, as I call it. Last but not least is going to be 100 skips or high knees if you don't have a rope available. So I just wanted to try this out. Oh, baby. Try to do high knees if you can in those skips. Now, I've never used a rope in my videos before, so I might get a little nervy. <laughs> we'll see. But do whatever you can. Modify if you need to. Go at your own pace. If you need to drop the reps down, drop the reps down. If you need to bring them up because you're like, this is so easy and I don't have heavy enough weight, do it. Go heavy when you can as long as you can keep form. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, as soon as I hit this timer, we're getting started with those 15 push presses. The description does have the exercises, so if you need that. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go with the 15s, sink down, 15 of these. Elbows in. Exhale up, six, lift those heels up, pop, using those hips, Pew. keep those, keep that core strong, okay, one more, might have done an extra, that's okay, better that than not, you got 30 seconds, so I personally can go with some butt kickers, if you want to rest, you can, because we have 12 dumbbell burpees. <laughs> oh yeah. 15 seconds, I'm gonna set it up. I'm using 25s uh, for these. I always have to mentally prepare myself for an EMOM. So fun. Three, two, let's go. Keep that core strong. Make sure you don't hyperextend the, sp the spine at the top. So you squeeze your butt and your core, but you're not meow like that. Keep going. Six. Seven. Nice job, guys. Keep rocking it. dumbbell swings. I'm going to stay with one of these 25s. So we have 20 dumbbell swings. 
This is going to be fun. 10 seconds. Yay. See, it's hard for me because I want to count my reps, but I don't want to count them out too loud. It's not one to stretch, you guys. All right, let's go. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your core. Keep it up. I need someone here to be my counter. <laughs> that way I can talk to you guys, cheer you on. Again, squeeze that booty, but squeeze that core so that way we protect that lower back. Keep going. I lost count, but I think I'm doing an extra. That's all right. All right, Renegade Rows are next. I'm sticking with my 25s as long as I can. 15 seconds. Whew. Get ready, guys. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> Remember, we don't want to move our hips as much as possible. So even if you need to widen out your feet, you can. All right, let's go. 20. I'm already sweaty. <laughs> Watch that lower back. Squeeze your core. Keep it up, guys. One more. All right. 30 seconds. We have skips. It's going to be 100. Remember, if you don't have a rope, you're going to do high knees instead. So get ready for that. Remember to pace yourself because this is going to get way more challenging. <laughs> so if you need to pause the video, that's okay too. Everyone's in a different part of their fitness journey. So there's nothing to be ashamed about. Five, four, three, two, one, and... So fun. We 
We can dance around too. That counts as active rest. <laughs> Get ready. Five, four, three, two. Okay, let's go. If you're not huffing and puffing yet, either you're really good <laughs> or maybe you need to add some weight to make it harder for you because this should start to get super challenging. Whew. Whew. We are not here to just move around aimlessly. We're here for it with intention to get stronger. So challenge yourself with weights. If you can keep form, go heavy. It will not make you bulky. Whoever started that rumor, oh, I just want to like, give him a hug. <laughs> just hit him in the gut with kindness, but not actually hit him in the gut, that's mean. Let's spread kindness, everyone. <laughs> let's go. All right, Rose, confession, I started doing burpees, so I had to stop the camera after I was done. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Keep that core strong. It's okay. Bonus points. <laughs> Woo! Good job, guys. Oh, one more. All right. So we have skips or high knees after this if you goof up just restart and if you goof up a lot or it's just messing with your mentality toss the rope to the side and do high knees <laughs> no big deal three two one oh shoot <laughs> I love it. We're already on the 
third round. I mean, this is going by super fast. 10 seconds. So I look about you moms. It's like, well, technically it's only like 25 minutes. Not including the warm up. If you do five rounds, let's go. So it's not so bad. Three, five. Keep got this. Six. Ten. Keep going. Oh my goodness. One more. Yes. Yay. Okay, rows. Cat. Rows. <laughs> you got rows. <laughs> All right. 20 seconds. Bounce it out if you want to. As long as you can keep form in the rest of your exercises. Otherwise, active rest is not worth it. It's better to keep that good form. Five, four, three, two. All right, Rose. I did it again. I totally did it again. Three, four. Keep going, guys. Five, six, seven. Right next to the body. Keep going. 13. One more. Oh. Okay. Skips. Skip, skip, skip. 20 seconds. We're going to go on the fourth round already after this. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 10 seconds, guys. I can't believe I did it again. Actually, I can. Three, two, one. I like, I am 
admiring them so much, so much. I think they are just the most BA of BAs. Okay, let's go. Nots to stand for, bachelor's degree. Two, three. Keep going, guys. Six, seven. Woo! Nice job, guys. Halfway. Yay! Squeeze that butt. Squeeze that core. Oh my goodness. Eight. Oh my. Okay. Rows. <laughs> 25 seconds. Rows, cat. Got it this time. I'm staying down here. <laughs> and I'm not getting up until I finish these rows. <laughs> 10 seconds. You guys are doing great. So, so great you showed up today. And that is half of a battle. So just keep telling yourself you're strong. A lot of it's mental. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Three, four, keep the hands on the shoulders. It's really easy to have them travel up. Dumbbell. <laughs> I 
So I sit up straight, I bring my um, shoulders back, I take deep breaths, big and deep breaths. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, open up the hip, try to keep both hips on the ground. And I shake it out, I even start dancing around. Even if I'm in public, I'll just start shaking it out and then I'll put a smile on my face. And even if you don't want to put a smile on, just a little smirk or rub out that, those wrinkles in that forehead. But I cross it over. But if you can survive this workout, you know, and workouts like this, just know you can survive pretty much anything. <laughs> you can survive everything up here too. Because you push through here mentally, and you can push through that anxiousness that you have. Go ahead, bring it back and down. We're gonna roll it over. Another thing I like to do is, hands by the chest, go ahead, press up, mini cobra, relax the face, is um, tell myself that I'm a strong person. I have to do some self affirmations and change the identity that I've given myself. Go ahead, bring it down. Whew, okay, we're gonna have our thumb down. Bring your arm out into a T. You can bring it up if you don't feel the stretch so much. We're gonna get that chest and that shoulder in front. So bend the left knee, left hand right by the chest, you're gonna turn and go over. So if you guys ever wonder about identities and stuff, I also do have a blog on that. I talk about changing our identity can help us towards our fitness goals. And pretty much any goal. <laughs> go ahead, bring it back. And right hand by the chest, thumb down on the other side, bend, bring it over. Relax here. See, I do like to talk about, love about, yeah, physical health, but mental health is so important. So if you guys are struggling in your physical health, try working on your mental health. It will help so, so much. Whew. Go ahead, bring it back to center. You have more power than you know. Hands by the chest, bring, them on, bring it up onto the knees, I can't talk. <laughs> right leg forward, press into it. Oh my goodness, a little wobbly here. There you go. Just finding that breath again. So shiny, <laughs> so shiny. And from here we're gonna open up the hips a little bit more. So walk that right foot out a little bit more to the right, bring your hands down, and then tuck the left toes, bring that knee down low. So we are getting that right hip. If you want to come down to the forearms, you can. This is my wizard pose right now. It is very tight, but that's okay. This is where my body is at today. Every day is different. And go ahead, bring it back. Oh my goodness. Left leg forward. Whew, press into it. Just be proud of yourself for showing up today and possibly using heavier weights than you're used to and being able to do the whole workout with perfect form. Bring it over and come down. Our bodies are just capable of so much and it's so cool. And there's just so much more than the number on the scale because remember that does not measure body composition, muscle and fat difference. It doesn't measure happiness but it can change it, which is crazy if we let it. But we don't have to let it. Go ahead, bring it back. Let's go into crisscross applesauce. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, crisscross. All right, we're gonna do a variation of cat-cow here. So hands are gonna be right onto the knees. Big inhale, open the chest up. Relax the face. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest around the back. Inhale, bring it on through. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. All right, go ahead, shake it out. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a small meditation, but if you do have to go, please do again, like the before you go share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, etc. I do also have a link down in my description if you do want to support my workouts, if you want to support my creations for you guys, um, that would be awesome. So, all right, yay, 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 yay. Right, let's stand up tall and go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna take some deep breaths here. Big inhale. 
Now, speaking of anxiety and stuff, is there something that's going on in your life that you're like, oh, I feel like I can't control this, I wish I could, uh, but you actually, you know, it's out of your control. So I want you to think about that. So you might get a little irritated. Exhale out. Keep going through the breaths as I talk. And now I want you to think about that anxiety. Big inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to think about it leaving your body. Like it's okay. You know, some things we can't control, but we can control how we feel about it. We don't have to give it that power. Keep breathing. With every exhale, it just comes out. You don't have to hold on to it anymore. You don't have to hold on to that feeling. You can let it go and let it be free into the world to dissolve. And then it just doesn't matter. But what does matter is you guys and your happiness and that you can be happy and you can be joyful and you can let go of that anxiousness if you want to. So one more big inhale, let every ounce of it out. Go ahead, shake it out. I hope you guys feel a little bit lighter mentally, maybe physically after all that sweat after that. Just know that, you know, we push through in these workouts and we can change our mindset. You might feel happier after you work out and stuff. And know that you can release, you know, like negative emotions. You don't have to hold on to them, but it's good to process them. You know, you don't have to just push them aside and pretend they don't exist. But process them, look at them, see them as, yes, this is how I'm feeling, but I can let it go. It doesn't serve me anymore. So I hope that helps you guys. If you ever feel that way, you know, at work or whatever, you can always escape to the bathroom, take a few deep breaths, go through this like mini two minute meditation and uh, allow yourself to be more free from those thoughts that are just thoughts. All right, guys, thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. We do have to sparkle though, so get ready to clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. Force field of sparkles. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. We tried it! Yay! Okay, we're all sparkly and sweaty and gross. But thank you guys again so much for joining me. Please do remember to like the video before you go and comment. Both of those things really help out my video so much. It helps YouTube see them as being like, oh, this is a lot of activity on this video and I want to show it to more people so the video does better in that sense. So, and also, if you do want to support my channel and my content, I greatly appreciate it. There's a link down in my description if you want to. So thank you again so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys soon. And yeah, okay.